Security Architecture and Design, Domain 5. The domain synopsis for Security Architecture and Design. We're looking at concepts, principles, structures, frameworks, all the elements are used to design proper security controls in the IT enterprise. We're also looking at an architecture of security services. What can we use to actually make the confidentiality, integrity, and availability requirements come to life in information systems? We also need to find a way to translate abstract security policy requirements into the reality of live computing systems. And finally, the scope of these designs could be either the full enterprise or a individual particular system. Some of the main objectives in the security architecture and design, security models, which would include confidentiality, integrity, information flow, but in this area of discipline, not availability. The security models would include the common criteria which define requirements for functionality as well as assurance. Technical platforms entail the hardware, the firmware, which is software embedded in computer chips and the software itself. We also have to address system security techniques, which would entail preventive, detective, and corrective controls. Let's take a look at our agenda in this area. First of all, we want to look at the whole ball of wax. We want to look at the enterprise security architecture, pulling all the pieces together for a comprehensive, effective control system. Then we want to look at the pieces of the computer systems that affect the overall security and where we can actually apply some of these disciplines. And then we want to look at different types of system security techniques and technologies. And then a very important foundation for a good security system in computers is the trusted computing base. Then we'll look at different security models that deliver confidentiality, integrity, often a combination of both in different types of security requirement definitions. Also, we want to look at security evaluation criteria. If a manufacturing company such as IBM or Sun or Hewlett Packard manufacture computer systems that must deliver a certain type of security, the evaluation criteria is their yardstick against which they're measured. We also want to look at the system audit process called certification where a certification agent will go in and evaluate all the controls that are in a about to be delivered system to see if they meet the security requirements of the owner. And then the owner often is what's called the accrediting official. Accreditation says the certification report is analyzed for possible issues in their resolution. We also want to look at some more threats to systems. These are always there. This is one of the main drivers why we have information security. There are threats we have to mitigate with proper security measures. And of course, we'll finish the chapter with a summary of review topics, the key areas you need to be familiar with for the CISSP exam, and we'll take some practice questions. One of the biggest issues, one of the biggest challenges that face information security professionals and their senior management, such as the CIO of an organization, there's a lot of different things you have to do to have a good security program. And that's demonstrated by all the topics you have to be familiar with to attain a CISSP designation. The number one issue amongst security folks is managing the complexity of security. As we see here on the slide, that you know, it exceeds the issues in preventing security breaches, enforcing policies, spreading awareness, and also assessing risk. So we've got this big collection of security controls, physical, administrative, and technical, how do we make them all work together? Very big challenge. So one of the tools to help us do this and also establish a roadmap for a strong security posture is called an Enterprise Information Security Architecture, an EISA. And this is where we pool all the necessary safeguards, define them, and organize them. And this is one of the yardsticks in my own personal checklist, if you will, of determining whether an organization has their act together with a security program. The architecture links all the necessary controls throughout the design, the actual administration where we have the baselines of applying those controls on a day-to-day -day basis, taking into consideration business drivers, what type of compliance requirements. For example, do you take credit cards, therefore you have to comply with the PCI DSS standard. All the elements that affect security, all the elements that deliver security have to be organized in an information security architecture. 